Hi everyone, my name is Kiran. Today I'm going to discuss about one good thing from Microsoft and and very helpful to uh, especially during the migration and a lot of companies, a lot of people are looking that way and it's uh, definitely it's a very very helpful and uh, coming to uh, before that uh, if you are new to my channel please subscribe and uh, give your comments and if you are looking some videos uh, from me and please comment accordingly i will try to create a videos and um, share it um, that one uh, thank you guys and let's jump into what is our today topic is automatically upgrade operating system from windows server 20 12, 2012 R2, 2019, 2016, this operating system upgrade and uh, during the migration, especially using Azure Migrate tool. When using Azure Migrate tool and uh, like migrating to Azure platform, especially this is a for on-prem VMware environment and especially this is a agentless migration. Agentless migration, guys. Um, so this is a applicable when you are going to perform this scenario like in your on premises vmware environment and windows server something uh, windows server 2012 or 2012 r2 2016 2019 any operating system using azure migrate tool if you are trying to migrate from on premises to azure platform especially with the agentless migration agentless migration if you are performing yes and uh, we can select it upgrade operating system and you can select it which operating system you want to upgrade it like suppose you are running on prem windows server like 2012 you want to upgrade to the 2016 or something like 2019 and you can select it just it's uh, you can perform it and automatically os upgradation happen and as well as migrate to the your azure platform so very good thing yes and Microsoft recommending in this scenario, first of all, you should do the test migration. Test migrate uh, in Azure migrate, you know, if you are using, you know, there is an option called test migrate and you should use the test migrate and try to perform it in case of any not supported any issues and we can understand. And after that only try to perform in the final migration, like final cutover so that you will get it. You will understand very better guys. So this is a Microsoft recommendation. So where we can get it, these details, how to perform it. And I can't show you uh, really guys because of I don't have uh, such uh, environment in my hand. Due to that, I can't show you, but I can give the documentation where it's uh, exactly available and I can show you as well as uh, there is a technic, uh, tech net article is available, tech community, Microsoft tech community article and even on that video is available and it's a uh, very good to um, you know everyone and uh, you can refer it and you get the more idea so let me show you here azure migrate windows server upgrade it's a preview it's a preview guys and uh, you can see here what is the saying and during the migration vmware agentless migration this feature currently available only VMware agentless migration guys. This article described how to upgrade Windows Server OS while migrating to Azure. While migrating to Azure guys, especially this is a very good thing. And you can refer it that prereq sites. First of all, you need to validate these prereq sites. And after that, you can refer it note what exactly Microsoft saying in case of OS upgrade failure, Azure migrate may download Windows setup diag for error details that is a very good thing where exactly we are getting the problem ensure vm is created in the azure post migration access to setup diag in case there is a no access to setup diag you may not be able to get the details os upgrade failure error codes but upgrade can still proceed so and it's a you can upgrade up to two versions of current version if you are running is a on premises windows server 2012 you can upgrade 2016 and 2012 r2 means you can upgrade 2016 or 2019 if you are running in the 2016 you can upgrade to 2019 or 2022 and if you are running on premises 2019 and you can upgrade to 2022 so very good thing guys and uh, we can utilize it and upgrade the os during the test migration 
so microsoft also recommending how to perform it step by step you can see guys step by step and uh, video like you know screenshots and you can refer it here and uh, like very very helpful guys and using that we can perform it and you you can test it right now i don't have such a vmware environment um so i can't show you guys sorry about that but it's a um, i'm very excited to uh, create this video and uh, share uh, this knowledge to or uh, this information to everyone and article technet article and you can see tech community article this is a one and windows server and it and uos upgrade seamlessly with azure migrate public re preview is a uh, right now and even uh, you can follow the steps same almost is the same and same he is a perform practically and shown you here you can see uh, that os upgrade video click on this win and uh, we can play the video online or you can download the video also you can download the video and anurag uh, uh, sorry i am not able to uh, pronounce properly sorry anurag is a prepared this is the one good thank you anurag uh, for uh, showing the this is a practical and uh, this is a one guys and uh, microsoft given these are two articles i will keep it into description and the links and you can refer it you can get the more idea guys thank you bye bye